Tell us about your technology breakthrough. How you guys actually accomplished what you, what you just told us? Um, yeah, that's um, um, another, another good question. So we use, um, there's a, a satellite data that's become available in the last um, uh, few years. So we uh, get satellite data, AIS signals, um, and then we also combine that with, uh, you know, customs customs data. Uh, so it's you know a, it, it's it's a, it's a it's a lot of data set um, that's coming in sort of fast and furious, and you have to be able to ingest that data and assign it to a vessel. And then if you're looking at a subsegment, which um, gets a lot of news headlines, the dark fleet, you know, the 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 fleet where the signals go off, you need human to then interpret where those signals go missing and where those vessels reappear to understand the supply chain. And then you, you, you actually go in what we call patching, data patching, is you tie that vessel on um, to that particular movement. Um, so, you know, we, we're, we're really, I think, um, able to use that combination of AI and, and, and human expertise. And yes, we've started um, right now in the com energy commodity sectors, but I think it's a, a blueprint that we can carry over um, to other segments, uh, certainly of, um, of, of the energy world and, um, and beyond, uh, right? Because the, the, the seaborne market also contains um, commodities, metals, um, sorry, um, other commodities other than energy. So you have metals, you have ags, um, uh, and, and it can, uh, this particular model can be carried over um, and, and we can uh, open up um, the, the shed some light on those on those markets as well.